So over in the Vatican, Pope Francis led a mass where he released two white doves into St. Peter's Square oh. in a prayer for Ukraine. Sounds good. Who need it? Right now, the traditional symbols of peace were promptly attacked, though, by a seagull and a crow Whoa. who grabbed the doves by the necks and pecked at them repeatedly. Oh, that God. seems like a bad omen. Much to the crowd's relief, the doves eventually did, though, get away. We now go to surveillance <laughs> expert on the Vatican, Jason DeSantis. <laughs> here. This is a scandal. What does it signify? You know, it's so funny, though. Two weeks ago, I wrote a piece, though, on the Holy See as a new economic power. In did ways, you? In some ways, the Pope is like God's central banker because. <laughs> but when he is one of the people that's talked about, though, income inequality. That's He's talked a lot true. about. So, in, in some okay. ways, there is there is. A part of there is an economic angle on Young Gilbert, can we banner that? We need this for Jason's children. Can we banner Trenner? Pope is God's central banker. Can we please put that across? But Jason, seriously, in Davos there was a huge respect for the you know inequality for this Pope's unique uh, path. For example, the Philippine uh, new cardinal is from Mindanao in southern Philippines with all the riots and protests there. This is a Pope taking a different tack. Well, absolutely. He's got, he got rid of largely got rid of the uh, moniker of, of Monsignor. Uh, he's, uh, take, he's, he's wearing a very simple cassock. He's, he has a very different, he also took the name as a Jesuit, very unusual, uh, taking the, the name Francis. Yeah. Which, uh, so, you know, all of those things are, are St. Francis of Assisi. St. Francis of Assisi. The saint of the poor. The, the poor. So it's a very, very different approach. And I do think it, it, it is telling you something about the economic circumstances. And perhaps that little white puff is now a leading indicator. <laughs>